December 6th, back at it, and uh, we're starting off this morning by, by this afternoon. We're starting off by uh, upsizing this hole in this, uh, in this mount plate here uh, to a quarter inch, and uh, we're gonna start by pilot drilling that 3 16 hole, and then we'll flip this over and put it on the drill press and final size, as a, final size that out to a quarter. And we have to do the same thing on this one, this one, and this one. These are already a one quarter inch, so I'll go 15 64s to give me a pilot hole through that uh, rib, and I'll drill press, uh, final size those. So when we do the other wing, we'll do this before we rivet this on. I'm not sure why they had, why they wait until after this stuff is riveted on to have you do this, because now I'm gonna have, probably have a couple chips down inside of that, but. Anyways, that's what the instruction says, uh, but when we do the other wing, we'll do this while this is clean coat on here so we can clean that out a little better. Okay, we're getting things fit, fit up to the spar. Um, we just got done clean coating all the ribs onto the front spar. And so now you can kind of start to see that it's the shape of the wing, how that's going to be. Um, but uh, again, when we do the other wing, um, I'll do a lot more video on this. So you're gonna, you're gonna see a lot more coverage uh, of what we're actually doing. Um, but we've got this clecoed up. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cleco the rear spar onto here. And um, I, I'll set the camera up and show us doing that. Sometimes I get home and I get to looking at some of the video and it just doesn't work. Um, case in point is uh, I wa wanted to time lapse us attaching that rear spar onto those ribs and I thought I had the camera set up in a good spot and now nope, it's just not work it's just a it's <laughs> it's a whole bunch of video of our backsides in front of the camera so um, I just skipped that um, but I'll, I'll cover it some more when we do the other wing Okay. So part of uh, the truss construction or the truss attachment onto the rear spar is when you put it together there's a gap in here and you have to use a couple of a couple of thick washers in there. So the challenge is, is uh, getting these thick washers put in there into that gap. So let's see if I can... I'm going to try and use these long, thin... Okay. Okay. Hold it this way. So now that we got... We got one of them in there. We had it takes two people to do it, but let's see if I can get this to. There we go. Got to bend that out just a little. We had to uncleco those ribs. There we go. Now I can insert that. Oh. There we go. We got our ribs and our spars clecoed up. Uh, and I got to thinking about the stainless steel rivets that are used to hold these ribs on to the spars. And one thing you need to do is um, to prevent uh, galvanic corrosion between the stainless steel rivets and the aluminum, um, you should have those primed. Or the other option is they call it wet riveting. And that's where you take the rivet and actually dip it into a primer before you uh, pull that rivet. Uh, so, I don't really want to do wet riveting. Um, I think I'd rather pull uh, this spar off, pull the ribs, and we'll prime, prime the back end of all these ribs, the back sides and the front sides, so that uh, the back side and the front side, so that we can uh, don't have to wet rivet this stuff together. So that'll all be protected. Um, not sure on the front spar. I'm guessing I, we still might have to wet rivet. I shot a note over to the Facebook group about that. We might have to wet rivet because we did not prime the inside of this forward spar. Um, I only primed on the just the spots where we were going to be attaching ribs or the only spots that got prime, primed. And we'll still prime the front uh, front side of those ribs, but we still might have to do some wet riveting on that, but kind of waiting for some, gonna end up waiting for some clarification on some of that, um, but that's where we're at right now. 
Well, I decided to put the brakes on uh, what we were doing. We were um, in the process of clecoing everything together for the wing structure, getting ready to rivet that up. Um, and decided to, that we needed to do priming uh, in order to use the stainless steel rivets uh, through this. So what I ended up doing was we pulled all the ribs off, the rear spar, took everything apart, and um, just shot primer on the ends of all these ribs on both sides ends of the ribs so that it'll have primer on both sides. We did the same thing with the front ribs, or the, or the ribs on the, the front side of the ribs, uh, did that, and then also went through and painted primer on the inside of the spar, just hand painted primer on the inside of the spar. So that's how we're kind of getting around having to do the wet rivet method instead of having to dip the rivets in primer. We've got it uh, primered inside, outside, and um, all the contact points on the contact points on the ribs uh, where those rivets are going to go through. Those are done. So we're done for today. Um, and we're just letting this, uh, this will dry for 24 hours. And then um, we'll see what schedules look like the rest of this week. Uh, getting up here to do some work, uh, maybe get this clay coat up back together and maybe we can start uh, looking at doing some riveting, uh, riveting the ribs on and getting the structure together on the wing. So um, yeah, if you're liking the videos, uh, just hit that thumbs up button. And um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You'll see the new videos. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate the views. And um, yeah, that's it for now.